All right, I'm turning this off. Make sure my phone doesn't make too much noise as we're going. Hey, hey, good afternoon, good afternoon. All right, so it is officially the third week of January, which means this is the time that everybody abandons their goals. Um, and so I kind of wanted to talk about that today because um, if you are, if you're starting to struggle with the goals that you set, or maybe you didn't set any goals and you think it's too late to set goals, which, hey, if you are coming on the live, let me know that you're here, okay? And if you're watching the replay, let me know that you're here as well. Um, hey, Melissa, hi. So, okay. Yeah, thank you so much. I'm so glad you guys can hear me. Um, so here's the thing. I think that we do the goal process wrong, okay? Hey, Sheila. Um, here's what happens. So basically what we do is like, we look at this blank piece of paper, this planner or whatever, and it says like, write down your goals. And you go, all right, well, let's see, what do I want this year? Uh, it would be nice to lose some weight. It'd be nice to exercise more. I guess I want to make more money. Hey, Deshaun. Like, think about like, what are the things that kind of roll off, right? When you start to think about like, well, what do, you know, what goals do I want? And we just kind of like throw things. It's almost like checking to see if spaghetti is ready, right? We just kind of like throw a whole bunch of stuff on the paper and we go, yeah, that looks good. Yeah, that's what everybody's doing. Okay, yeah, let's do that. And we don't, we don't really think about the end game, okay? And what I mean by that is like I, I was doing um, planning with, uh, with the monk manual, right? Which is a planner that my dad bought me for my birthday. And, um, you know, cause my dad bought me a planner for my birthday. Cause he totally knows me. And, <laughs> like I opened it up. It's like, Oh my God, this is the best present ever. Um, so, so I'm going through the planning with this and it was like, okay, so what would you on your deathbed regret that you didn't do? And I was like, oh, oh, wow. Okay. And it was a question that I'd never really thought of before. Like how many of you really thought like, okay. Um, another way that, another way that I've heard this put is if you went back and talked to like eight-year-old you, what would she be disappointed in? What would she be disappointed that you're not doing anymore, right? Or what dream did she have that you never pursued? And then think about, you know, 80, 90, 100 year old you, on your deathbed, if you went and talked to her, what would she be disappointed that you didn't do? And what, like, when I thought about it that way, I was like, like, okay, all right, let now, that changed for me what, what goal setting looked like. Like anybody like think about that, I'm like, oh, that's pretty, mm. Mm, that's different, right? That's, that's not what we're used to, right? We're used to throwing, you know, okay, so, you know, what's your health goal? What's your money goal? What's your, you know, exercise, right? Like that's what we're used to doing. And so when I started thinking about that one, I'm like, okay, so, you know, I, I want to leave a legacy, right? Like that's, that's my thing. Like not only, I want to leave a legacy for my family, and I also want to leave a legacy behind for others. And so what does that look like? And what do I have to do in order to make that happen? And so if you are struggling with your goals, I would love to see you ask yourself those types of bigger questions you know, at, at the end of my life, what do I want to be known for? Or what do I want to make sure I don't regret? 
Because what that typically does is that will shift from, you know, the, the money goals into, you know, the career goals into like life goals, right? And I heard this term today, which I thought was absolutely amazing. Um, Life-centered career planning. And I know like, even when I, you know, when I worked in the university as a college professor and I was doing planning with students and especially like in accounting, because, you know, the accounting profession is, especially if you go the CPA route, is generally known for working really long hours, not having a life, being burnt out, but getting paid really well to do it. And so I'd always ask my students, like, what do you want your quality of life to look like? You know, what, what do you, you know, when you're 40, when, you know, when I'm talking to them, you know, like when you're my age, what do you want your life to look like? And you would get a whole variety of different answers depending on who you're talking to. But a lot of times, you know, people would say, you know, I want to ski and I want to, you know, I want to hike and I want to do all this stuff. I'm like, okay, great. You have to factor that in when you're trying to decide what you want to do for work. And they go, oh, oh yeah. Right. Because most people don't, you know, they always take the highest offer, right? The highest monetary offer. They don't think about what life is going to look like. And so I know a lot of you that are on my page are following me because you are looking for, right? You're trying to figure out like, what's the next thing I want to do, right? And so as you're going through and doing that, think about, well, what is it going to look like when I own this business or when I'm doing this type of freelancing? Like, what is that going to look like for me? And so it's critically important to know that end game for you, right? What do you want this to look like? What do you want your, what do you want your life to look like? Because once you set that, it's really easy to back into your goals and say, okay, now that I know what I want my life to look like, what do I have to do to get there? And then you can set goals based off of that. And when you set goals based off of what you want your life to look like, you are much more likely to complete your goals because you've got that vision. That's why they say like vision boards work. That's why they say, um, you know, putting your goals down in front of you, visualizing what you want your life to look like, what these goals mean to you, visualize yourself doing the actions so that it, it strengthens that in your mind, it strengthens your resolve. So let me know if you have any questions about this. We're going to be talking about, we're going to be talking about goals and, and how to achieve them and how to craft them um, for the next couple of weeks. And so I'd love to know where you struggle with this, how I can help you with this. Um, so that we can, we can all rise up as a community, we can all lift up as a community, and, and I can help support you in achieving your goals. All right, so you guys have an awesome day, take care, and really think about, think about what I said today, maybe, maybe journal on that a little bit, write down some notes, and let me know what you're thinking. If you want to shoot a message into the page's inbox, I'd love to know what you're thinking. All right, take care, have an awesome day.